This is the complete sequence from the most primitive Earth moving up to the present day Earth defined by that yellow circle and also moving into the future. So it's not uh, defying any uh, premise. Uh, we're just simply, in this case, we're simply uh, now eroding the material into those sedimentary basins. We're introducing new volcanic rocks and granite rocks, just progressively stretching that continental crust, progressively very in minute amounts each year progressive extension and <coughs> collapsing that crust uh, to form the mountain belts and uh, um, seismic areas of seismic activity, volcanism and so on. And also that, uh, as you, you won't be able to see, but that network of sedimentary basins also represents a network of um, crustal weakness which will then eventually form that network of mid-ocean rift zones. If you can just hold that there. A very, very interesting outcome of this research um, was the problem of extinctions. And uh, around about the same time as uh, I was doing this re research, of course, all this cometary impact and meteoric uh, impact uh, studies came into vogue. At this particular moment in time, the Paleocene, which is around about um, uh, 60 to 65 million years ago, the, ex the dinosaurs became extinct at 65, finally became extinct, and also 90% of um, most uh, uh, faunal and floral species as well became extinct at 65 million years' time. So that's the time uh, at this moment in time. If we were able to uh, rotate this one globe, you, you would notice that there are actually, at this time, there are actually two separate distinct oceans, the Atlantic plus Indian Ocean, the, the primitive Atlantic and Indian Ocean, and a se completely separate Pacific Ocean. Each of the continents are joined, Australia to Antarctica, Australia to Asia, and the Americas and so on. So these are, these are land bridges which completely separate these, these two oceans. So you have the potential to have separate sea levels, separate salinities, separate temperatures, separate currents, separate uh, fauna and flora within each of these two oceans. When we move forwards in time, um, Australia and Antarctica then started to uh, break up and rift apart at this moment in time. And I might add the demise of the dinosaurs and these faunal and flora species occurred over an eight to ten million year time period. What we're being told is this was instantaneous. This meteoric impact was an instantaneous event. This is absolute rubbish. If you go back into the, the uh, paleontology, this study of fossils and, and the dinosaurs' extinctions are w very well documented. And this uh, is all uh, substantiated by plotting these dinosaurs, the locations of these dinosaurs on my various models. And it shows that at this moment in time, Australia you may be able to see that between Australia and Antarctica, you then start to get opening up of the, uh, and, and formation of the Southern Ocean. So in, in other words, what I'm alluding to is the ancient Atlantic and, and Indian Ocean then drained and filled up the Pacific Ocean. So you get this scenario where dinosaurs and, and various species living around the margins of these two oceans their habitat was drained over, uh, re geologically speaking, a relatively uh, rapid period of time, eight to 10 million years. Similarly, in the Pacific Ocean, their habitats were flooded. So of course, the dinosaurs and all these species are, are specific to these environments. So one was, uh, it became extinct because their, their habitat was drained and the other became extinct because their habitat was flooded. And ever since then, the two oceans have been um, uh, equivocal. Um, prior to that, uh, there's also another minor event in the earlier than that where the primitive North Pacific and South Pacific oceans were two separate oceans. So Australia and America were joined together here, right here at uh, Brisbane, 
and uh, Californian coastline were joined together. So we had two oceans, the North and South Pacific Oceans, and that m moment in time, that fragmented and the two oceans merged. We had another mass extinction event, and there's been a number of these through time.